Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a functional equation. We have f of 2x minus 1 divided by x plus 1 equals 3x over 2x plus 2. And we're going to be solving for f, the function that satisfies this equation. So I'll be presenting two methods and let's start with the first one. Now, looking at this expression, I noticed that the right-hand side is rational. And the left-hand side is also rational, so I'm assuming that f of x is going to be a rational function. But what is a rational function like? Well, we can write it as a x plus b divided by cx plus d, where a, b, c, d are constants. And some of them can be zero. That's perfectly fine. So here's what we're going to do next. We're going to use this formula, or the form, to evaluate this. So we're going to replace x with this whole thing right here. And then that's going to give us the right-hand side. So let's go ahead and do that. Replace x with 2x minus 1 all over x plus 1. So f of 2x minus 1 over x plus 1 is going to equal, based on our definition, a times 2x minus 1 over x plus 1 plus b divided by c times 2x minus 1 over x plus 1 plus d. And this is supposed to equal 3x over 2x plus 2. Nice. Now let's go ahead and distribute the a. That's going to give us 2ax minus a. And now we're going to make a common denominator, multiply b by x plus 1 and divide by that. So we're going to be adding bx plus b to this. And then denominators are both going to be the same, so they're going to cancel out. Forget about that. Hopefully, you're fine with this. I just, I'm just i just skipping some steps, but that's not too hard to do. And then uh, we're going to be distributing the d again, dx plus d. And this is equal to 3x over 2x plus 2. Great. Now, let's go ahead and simplify this a little bit. We can write it as 2a plus b as the coefficient of x, and then plus b minus a divided by... 2c minus, I mean, plus d, this is positive, times x plus d minus c. And this is equal to 3x over 2x plus 2. Awesome, this is the best part. Now, we do know that the coefficient of x in the numerator is 2a plus b, or 3. So 2a plus b must be 3. And b minus a, there's no number here, so that needs to be 0. And the denominator... The coefficient of x is 2, so this needs to be 2, and this needs to be also 2, because that's the constant term. That basically gives us uh, two systems of equations with two variables each. For example, this one is 2a plus b is equal to 3, and a is equal to b. If you replace b with a, you get 3a equals 3, which is a equals b equals 1. So they're both 1. And the second system, we can solve here, 2c plus d is equal to 2, and then we know d minus c is equal to 2. So there's a couple ways to go about it. You can negate one of these equations and turn this into negative 2. Add them up. D cancels out. 2C plus C is 3C, which is 0. From here, C equals 0. So we got A, B, C so far. Let's find out D. D minus C, which is D minus 0, is equal to 2, which means D is equal to 2. Awesome. What's that supposed to mean? Well, we were looking for the function F that satisfies this. And we got the values of A, B, C, D. So they're like 1, 1, 0, 2. 1, 1, 0, 2. So we can write f of x as 1x plus 1 divided by 0x plus 2, which is x plus 1 divided by 2. So that will be a solution to the equation, and that will be the only rational solution. But here's the million-dollar question. Is that the only solution? Or are there solutions to this equation that are not rational? And how do you find them if they exist, right? That's a really good question. So you can kind of test out some other functions like quadratics, radicals, and you're going to realize something interesting when you do that. Let me not tell you. I don't want to spoil the surprise because we still need to look at the second method. And there's probably a third method, which I can briefly maybe show you at the end, if I don't forget. Okay, cool. Here's the second method. What is our original problem? Let's go back to it. f of 2x minus 1 over x plus 1 is equal to something on the right hand side, 3x over 2x plus 2. 
Now, do you think having an x plus 1 here and 2x plus 2 will be helpful? Maybe. And we can kind of talk about it within the third method. But for the second method, here's what we're going to do. We want to turn this into f of something, hopefully f of x, because notice when we solve this problem, we got f of x at the end. So we want it to be expressed in terms of x, right? And we want the input or the independent variable to be x or anything y or any, it doesn't matter, but we can always turn it into x, right? So I want this to turn into x, but I wouldn't do that directly because that's problematic. Those x's are not going to be the same. So you can do a curly x. Sometimes I used to do it, but that's also a little confusing. I find it. So I'm going to do this instead. I'm going to set the whole thing equal to something. Like, how about you? Okay? It's not about you. It's about the letter U. Okay? So don't get too excited. So my goal is the following. I'm going to get, actually, I don't know. Maybe I should use Y. Okay, let's just use Y. So this is going to give us F of Y, and then I can turn it into F of X. Again, those are not the same X's, so though. don't get stuck on that. But here's the plan. We're going to set... The whole thing inside the parentheses equal to y and then we're going to be solving for x and then plug it in here get the idea hopefully that should be easy so x minus one is equal to x y plus y distribute and then here i want the x terms together because i'm supposed to solve for x and it's going to look like this and now i want to factor out x two minus y over y plus one and then isolate x by division and you'll get that see that's what I was trying to get. So now I got x in terms of y, which is something I can substitute. Let's do it here or maybe here. f of y, because we got y inside the parentheses already. You don't really need to do it again because you know that you're going to get it. On the right-hand side, though, we do need to substitute 3 times y plus 1 over 2 minus y, which is, by the way, replaces x. And then 2 times x plus 2, 2 times this, again, plus 2, right? 2x plus 2. So we're using this formula, but x is replaced with this. Okay? Makes sense? Now let's go ahead and simplify this. We're going to go ahead and distribute the 3. And again, the things are going to cancel out. Let, let me show my work here a little bit. 3y plus 3 divided by 2 minus y. In the numerator, in the denominator, we get 2y plus 2. And then 2 times this, cross multiply or whatever. 4 minus 2y all over 2 minus y. When you flip and multiply, obviously, 2 minus y is going to cancel out. And you're going to get the simplest form, 3y plus 3 over. Now, the 2y is going to cancel out. 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. And I can definitely factor out a 3 here. And 3 goes into 6 two times. And guess what that gives you? That gives you f of y equals y plus 1 over 2, which implies f of x equals x plus 1 over 2, because these are dummy variables, and you can pretty much discard them and use another one, because it's the same thing. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.